Welcome everyone to Beaver Stadium, nestled in Bucolic State College and home of the Penn State Nittany Lions and one of the loudest, most passionate crowds you'll find anywhere in college football. Today, a Big Ten clash, and you know when you square off against a conference opponent, the blood boils a little hotter. As we'll see a team looking for its first win, the UCLA Bruins, taking on the 16th ranked team in the land, the Penn State Nittany Lions. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Here he comes with the return. He stopped at the 23, a couple yards short of where he would have been with a touchback. So UCLA's offense will start this game off. And here comes this quarterback. When he takes the field, he brings a certain swagger and charisma out there that the entire, not only the entire team, the entire stadium seems to feed off of. You can feel it. It's different. It's special. Um, guys like this don't come around very often, but you know, he makes the whole team better, but the belief is strong because he continues to make plays and be there for his team every time they need. Getting some heat. And he can't escape, and down he goes. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. And this is what the offense knows they cannot do. They can't allow sacks. In their last game, they were sacked five times. Obviously lost that football game. And early in this one, they're having issues again, keeping their quarterback standing up straight. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Now a fair catch is called for it, may just shy of midfield. The Nittany Lions offense will go to work for the first time today. On first down, here comes this offense. He wants to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Warren. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Finds his target down the middle. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. Snap it to the back. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Able to get the first one of the day away. They did have to send him out three times in that victory last week. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Smashes through. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. And the Bruins want to move quickly. It has been a rocky ride through Big Ten play so far, and they're running out of time to turn it around. Yeah, and sometimes the Big Ten will do that to you, right? It's a competitive conference. There's a lot of a lot of competitive environments that you have to step into, and they haven't been great this season, let's be honest. But, Jesse, I'm more interested to see how they finish off the last part of this season because you, it's one thing to have expectations and to get down. It's another thing to quit. Yeah, you just want to see how we... And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. How nice is it as a defense when you can drop seven guys into coverage, only rush four, and still get home? That makes you feel good if you're the deep The first down sack pushes the ball back for this long second down. To the air, it's Garbers. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. And that one looked great on the grease board, but when they blow it up like that, the defense is going to win every time. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. The Bruins line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away.
And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. In the gun, looking to throw on third down. He's going to run it. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. The Nittany Lions come to the line with a new set of downs. Going with the ground game left. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. The running back has it. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? It's third down, and they've got to get it to the 33. It's a draw. Shakes off the defender. Really nice, patient job to find some running room by this junior. And the Nittany Lions are on the move. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Zings it complete to the right. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. I'm going to work on second down, and the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Looking for space. It's Singleton. Brought down at the seven after picking up three. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. They'll try to get the first through the air. Trying to get to him. And he's all bottled up and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Man, those are backbreakers. Defensively, you get so excited. You force the fumble. I'm going to get a turnover. And the offense falls in the field. Here comes the field Number goal unit as they'll try to take the three. He's going to have to get into this one a little bit from 47 yards away. Tried to give it enough body English, but he missed it. After the miss, no change in the score. UCLA will go back to work on offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Back to pass. It's Garbers. Throws to the wideout. He makes a catch. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And the Bruins in the hurry up. You can become a star making efficient plays and getting first down, sort of like a Mark Harmon kind of way to play quarterback for the Bruins. And, and then you become a big star. And in Hollywood, what a talent to do. It obviously creates some excitement, creates some momentum, go to a Rose Bowl, just do big things at UCLA. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires it. And that one's incomplete. We're taking a shot there, but couldn't hook up. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Feeling some heat. Trying to escape and get it himself. At the 40, there he goes. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Nice job, nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, 
that is a win. As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. He leaves it with his back. Runs through a tackle. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. It has been all defense all the time in the early going as we wrap up the first quarter, and the stats certainly reflect that. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. He'll keep it himself. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Third down in this crowd is tearing the lid off this place. Wants to throw. It's Garbers. Get it out on the screen. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. The Bruins come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Going up top on first down. They're bringing heat. He's got him still on his feet. He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing him open. And after the really good gain on first down, they'll try to finish it off on second and goal. They're going to run it. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. So loud it's rattling your fillings on third and goal. Pocket starts to collapse. And the quarterback is knocked down back in the 13. All right, nice job, defense. Backs against the wall. You did your job setting up fourth down. Just be careful, though, because this is a team that's shown they can fake field goals. You guys have to be alert. So now on comes the field goal unit. And that is no good. And after the miss, guys, the score stays right where it is. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails, drive the ball down the field, and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. He's got the ball, and he'll try to pick up a few. You want to talk about hearts and throats when that ball was on the ground? <laughs> the offense recovered its own fumble. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. To the ground with the back. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? The Nittany Lions will try to pin them back with the punt. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. From midfield, looking for room. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. And the Bruins racing to the line in the hurry-up. Looking downfield, it's Garber. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. 
And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. Operating in the red zone here on second down. And off to Jones. They knock him down after a pickup of four. Ball is at the nine-yard line. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They're going to go to the air on third and short. And it's caught! Touchdown, Bruins! I don't know exactly what the defensive coverage was, but it certainly wasn't part of the plan to leave him that wide open. Well, I don't, I don't think they know what their defensive coverage was either. How do you leave that big guy open down here in the red zone? You know the quarterback loves the big tight ends in this area. Really poor job by the defense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. Sam Houston may not be leaving town with a blowout victory, but they'll take a dub away from Huntsville every time. The Bearcats have been racking up road wins since the Ron Randleman days, and they get another one today. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But... Wide open, he makes the catch. And they don't drag him down until he gets all the way to the 46-yard line. This offensive line does such a good job communicating in the pass protection. You can see guys passing defenders off to one another, and that's why the quarterback had so much time to complete that throw deep downfield. And stick him to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. They're trying to get to him. He'll pull it down and run. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down. He tried to get it on his own. The Nittany Lions decide to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. And they can't get on top of it to down it, so that ball will come out to the 20. UCLA will go back to work on offense. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. The Bruins moving quickly to the line. Keep it on the ground. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Scanning the field, it's Garbers. Pressure coming. That quarterback was doing his best. Houdini escaping in the backfield, but the defense finally gets to it. The offensive line coach will be pulling his hair out. His head coach is okay right now because they're winning the game, but from an O-line standpoint, they've been atrocious in pass pro. And the Bruins will send out the punt unit. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. Fair catch just inside the 40. They'll put the tight end in motion. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Turns it on in midfield. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. They'll give it to him again. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. They'll go to the ground. Runs through the tackle. 
Just a savvy, veteran, productive run from this junior. Not the most productive pass for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. Catch in the middle, it's Fleming. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Just going to keep it after the snap. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Penn State! And that's what makes this quarterback so dangerous, fellas. He can hurt you throwing the ball, but man, is he ever dangerous and explosive with his feet. You have got to be able to get this guy on the ground. If you don't, he's got way too much wiggle and speed. You saw it right there. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Bangs it through for an extra point. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And he got into the house from the six to finish it. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. It'll be a draw. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. The clock has stopped, and we've reached the two-minute warning before halftime. Here comes the offense on second down. Back to throw. It's Garbers. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. They'll go hurry up here. They'll throw it on first down. That's caught. It's Sturdivant. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. He's looking to throw. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play. Clock running. He's looking downfield to throw. Coming after it. And here's a fumble way behind the line. They recover their own fumble. How in the world did the offense avoid that disaster? Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. Fields the punt and tries to work it the other way. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yard he could on the punt return. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. In modern college football, Jesse, if there's time, there's an opportunity to attack. What a job to lay out and make the catch. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the right. He's got it. The offense burns his third and final timeout of the half. Inside the 30 at the 29, it's a first down. Dropping back, it's Allen. Getting some heat. Nowhere to go with the ball, and down he goes at the 39. Second down. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. 
Guys, one of the best atmospheres in football, and we've got a fun one from Happy Valley. And a compelling first half for a variety of reasons. Yes, there's a substantial lead to talk about, but I think it all starts with this defense that has more than made its share of big plays. If things keep trending in this direction, you can bet a ton of those backs and receivers are going to spend a lot of time in ice baths before the end of the day. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside Beaver Stadium. The Bruins will boot it away to start the second half. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. Trying to set the tone on the ground in the second half. Didn't get much done on that run. He'll fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. He's back to throw on second down. Got it behind the line. It's Singleton. And he'll be run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Not a very productive play there. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Trying to get to it. What a complete disaster. What a terrible decision to run that far backwards and take the safety. Yeah, and sometimes you get confused and you get lost when you're out of the field, but not that far. And, and I just, I don't know how to explain this. I would love to give you words and, and break this down and be like, this is what he was thinking. I don't know what he was thinking. So after giving up the deuce on the safety, now they'll be able to kick it away without a rush from the 20. UCLA will go back to work on offense. They go to work in the third quarter with the lead, but they have had a little trouble keeping their quarterback upright. Yeah, and you, you have the lead, you're positive, but the offensive line coach is definitely going to be upset. And the offensive coordinator, listen, I don't want my guy getting touched. He's being productive, but give him some more time here in the second half. I think you can do that, too, offensively, by maybe leaving your tight end in to help block, maybe chipping with running backs to help these tackles out on the edge, because you're right, that pocket has been shaky. And if it continues to be that way in the second half, this could be a much different looking football. Dropping back, it's Garbers. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. And I think this team knew going into halftime, trailing, their defense was going to have to step up here in the second half. And on the very first play of the third quarter, they get a sack. That is good news for this defense. And the Bruins will line up to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking to the punt. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. You got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Caller, now use it against him. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if the dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. To the ground. He's got it again. At the 45 on his way. With that, he's got 101 yards on the ground, and he has his eyes fixed on leading the nation in rushing. I love that play call. This offense is going to run the football. They're not just going to do it between the tackles, but they're going to attack you outside. You saw that with that handoff. They get to the right. They get him in space using his speed. Good play call. They make the stop as he gets it inside the 30 to the 28, a gain of four. From the gun, running back on the move. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. The Nittany Lions come to the line with a new set of downs. Looking for a gap. It's Singleton. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Give to the running back. Touchdown, Nittany Lions! And with 
like that, they've got the lead here in the second half. Precision blocking up front, created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes. It just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they're on top by five. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. Virginia has put on a majestic performance today, jumping out to an early lead and building on it from there. And now we have ourselves a blowout. They're up by 31 over Boston College. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. The Bruins will hustle to the line. Looking to throw, it's Garbers. Makes the grab. And there might have been trouble if they hadn't gotten to him immediately. Better find the air plugged. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback knew he was in that pocket too long, but nowhere to go with the ball, and he takes the side. Quarterbacks don't have high completion percentages from their backs. It's been really hard for this QB to get any kind of rhythm. We've got to change something up here. We've got to do something different, because right now it's just a sack party. And the Bruins send out the punt unit. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. If you like old-fashioned, grinded-up, run-over-em football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers, though. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Will they keep it on the ground? They'll try to run for it. Powers through the defender. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. Here's his offense with a fresh set of downs. Using his legs, it's Singleton. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. They got nothing on the last play at second and 10. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Nice move to keep moving. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall, trying to force a field goal try. Back to pass. It's Aller. Quickly to the tight end. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. The Nittany Lions have their offense in high gear. Running back searching for a hole. They'll give him maybe one on the play. It's down to the 20. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Handoff from the gun. And a good solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third and short, just trying to get enough for the first down. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. And the Nittany Lions have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Knocked down after a gain of one. They'll mark it at the six. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. The run up the middle trying to steamroll his way in. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Penn State! The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead, now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead.
Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and puts one more on the lead. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. And off to Jones. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, give him one. The Bruins want to pick up the tempo. From the gun, running back gets to give. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. He's going to take off. That's a fumble on the play. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And it's so hard to keep a rabbit in the cage, that quarterback, right? He's, he's going to scramble around. He's going to make plays. And when he gets outside the pocket, you're just trying to get a hand on him. How about getting a hand on him, forcing the fumble and recovering? A great job by the defense continuing to chase that QB. Extra blockers on the field. Offense goes full house. Leaves it with the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Penn State on top. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. They'll run play action. Send it downfield, and it's incomplete, going for the massive explosive play instead. They're looking at a third down. Looking for a man, it's Aller. They're bringing heat. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And this is one of those where you go, oof, you, you start to breathe a little deeper on the sidelines. You felt really, really comfortable having the big lead to plus two possessions in the fourth quarter. But now you gave the ball back. You put yourself in a position where you're going to have to earn it a little bit more now. UCLA will go back to work on offense. And after that last turnover, David, prime example, sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. And it just puts you behind the eight ball. I mean, this offense has to do something. Put it together. You got a deficit problem. You need some mojo. Something needs to go your way. At this point of the game, they've got to score touchdowns every time they have possession. Caught in the backfield. It's Sturdivant. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Pocket starts to collapse. And they get to him and sack the quarterback, and they'll stop the drive on down. And you had to. I mean, the offense had to be aggressive. You're down multiple scores. You needed to make something happen right now. You had to be aggressive. I think you had to go for it on that fourth down. Now, obviously, the game's looking like it might get out of hand. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. After that last drive, he came back to the sideline, and the coach probably said, you dropped it, and you didn't pick it up? Come on, get on the ball, David. No, that's not what he said. He said, you're doing a great job. Just keep your head up. Oh, yeah, he got blasted. you got to hold on to the football, Palmer. Turnovers to side games, those are big plays. It's tough on him, too, because he knows he let his offense down on that last drive. So you know that guy's eager and anxious to come out here and make a play. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. 
They'll try the right side. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Offense gets set for second down. Just when they're looking run, now up top. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Caught in the backfield, it's Fleming. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. There have been a couple of missed opportunities for these offenses in the last couple of drives, Jesse. And I think for this offense here, it'd be nice to hit an explosive play, be aggressive, and really pay off your defense's effort that last drive. Instead of having to move the ball down the field consistently and then getting stopped on four downs, you're right. Create some of those explosives. Take those deep shots. Make those big plays. Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. So frustrating to see an offense lose track of the play clock and pick up a penalty like that. Back to throw. It's Garbers. He's got his man. Now they've got a little room to work with. They're out to the 28 with a first down. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. Wants to fire on second down. They get to him as he throws. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. From the gun, wants to pass. He's going to let one fly down the middle. Catch inside the 25, and he'll take it to the house. He got loose. Touchdown, UCLA. And there are times a quarterback and receiver just have the unspoken language. He's lined up to the left side. He's looking down. There's nobody in the middle of the field. The quarterback kind of just winks at him and says, I'm throwing you this post. You go get it and go score a touchdown. Man, that is exactly what happened. The AT unit on the field. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Just never had a chance to shake loose and he'll be brought down at the 24. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. Handoff to the single back. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 27-yard line. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Right back to him on the ground. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Looking to throw, it's Aller. They're trying to get to him. Quarterback all over the place trying to make a play, but eventually he goes down. I tell you what, if I'm this QB, I am ill as a hornet in my offensive line. Are you kidding me? That's the sixth time they put me on the ground? Dudes, will y'all protect me a little bit better, please? The Nittany Lions will bring the punt team onto the field. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. 
He'll pull it on the read. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. And the Bruins want to crank the tempo. This Nittany Lion defense has just been suffocating. The front seven has been dominant. Guys like Jack Ham would be proud. Yeah, just big, physical, just owning the guys up front. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. The Penn State D-line just dominating this football. They'll go to the air on third and short. Caught behind the line. It's Harden. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. The Bruins will call on their punt team. On the move, looking for a little sliver of hope. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. They'll give it to the back. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. To the air. It's Aller. Fires to the big fella. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. New set of downs after that completion. They go to the ground. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Grabbed behind the line. It's Warren. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Third and short coming here right from the midfield stripe. They want that clock to run. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. The Nittany Lions are on the move. The incomplete and very lucky that one wasn't picked off. And man, could they have used that? It'll be second down. The play action fake. Pressure coming. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. That is now the seventh sack on defense. This offense cannot protect their QB. It doesn't matter if the defense is blitzing or if they're just winning one-on-one. -on -one. Seven sacks. That's just ridiculous. What a big play this one could be. Tight game, getting late, third and long coming up. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Wallace. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. We have arrived at the two-minute warning. A one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. UCLA will go back to work on offense. Comes out throwing on first down. Working the middle is complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. To throw. It's Garbers. Got his man on the outside. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. They're at their fastest tempo trying to get off this third down play. Looking to throw for it. Gets away. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge this late in the game. Desperate to convert and he'll throw it. A deep throw as the clock winds down. Incomplete on fourth down and man did they need to keep that drive alive. Boy, this is just the type of field position this offense wants. One back in the backfield and they'll give it to him. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Ordinarily on second and ten, you might look past, but here you just want to keep that clock moving. He stopped again. They went right back to him, and he still found no running room at all. They'll use a timeout here. You have to be certain at this point in the game. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Got some room, headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Nittany Lions! And they take it in for six more points. 
They put another score on the board as they try to push this winning streak to three. That is exactly what you want your offense to do. You want it to eat clock, but if you score, go up by two possessions, nail beat Coffin. Great execution by this offense to put this game away. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, the lead is a dozen here in the fourth. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Florida is currently trailing in this one, but I'm old enough to remember the comeback Danny Werfel led in 1995 to beat Tennessee. So don't rule anything out here today. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to UCF. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this one. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be... He lost it high and deep down the left side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Looking to pass. It's Garbers. And the quarterback is snowed under. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play call and everyone on the same page here. He'll try to do it himself. And the incomplete pass on third down, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's about. They'll decline the penalty here and let the result of that play stand. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on lost one deep down the right side. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. And they'll take a knee, the universal symbol for we have this thing in hand. After the stumble earlier this year, a lot of people wrote this team off. People might be searching for spots on the bandwagon again now. Yeah, give this coaching staff a lot of credit too, Reese, because they made a few tweaks and adjustments schematically to their personnel as well, and they've really now seemed to find a nice rhythm. And it's hard to find that early in the season, but the good teams figure out who they are, what they do well, and you can tell they're starting to get in a groove, figure out who does what well, and maximize that and accentuate that. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, Dave Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.